Hello, welcome to this last video on curvature. Um, the set of videos here are about arc length and curvature. Nice calculations that you can make about a curve, mostly in three dimensional. And we discussed what it means to measure the curvature of a function. It's going to be the degree of bend at a particular point on the curve. And so that by definition, it is the magnitude of the change in the unit tangent vector, but it's as the input of arc length parameter, S. And so we went through a series of different um, simplifications, and the goal in mind is that you know having the arc length parameter S is sometimes impossible, if not really difficult, when you're given a function in terms of T. And so we then developed a formula for uh, calculating curvature in terms of time, t. And uh, the one that's in red there is your go-to formula, velocity cross acceleration, the magnitude of that, divided by speed cubed. And if you're given a specific time, t, you just plug it in and you're dealing with, you know, taking the cross product between numerical vectors as opposed to just as a function of time. Um, now, we could have actually calculated curvature in the previous class. As soon as you learn derivatives on a 2D function, you had enough to be able to calculate curvature. Um, you can, if you had a function that was described parametrically in 2D, this formula is how you calculate curvature. We're going to go back on the, on the next slide and look at the derivation of that. It's really treating this two-dimensional vector as a three-dimensional vector and using the velocity acceleration formula in red. But even when you first learned functions, and, and, and uh, how to take a first and second derivative, if y is a function of x explicitly written out, then you could find curvature by taking the second derivative, uh, making sure it's positive, uh, slapping absolute value bars around it, and dividing by 1 plus y prime squared raised to the 3 halves. Um, let's go back one slide. Let's see here. How does this work? Okay, great. And uh, let's see how that two-dimensional parametric function has the formula that it does for curvature. Um, remember, the three-dimensional uh, three, three dimensional fun vector function has velocity cross accelerations, magnitude divided by speed cubed. So you just cast these 2D vectors as 3D vectors by putting a zero in the third component. So the position function is f of t, g of t, zero for z. It's in the xy plane. And then we have the derivative is f prime and g prime, we put zero for k. And then um, the acceleration, second derivative, f double prime, g double prime. Now, if you were to take the uh, cross product between these two vectors, then you'll get the, um, when you ever have a zero in, in any component there, what happens then is that, well, you know, these vectors in the xy plane, you're crossing vectors in the xy plane, you're going to get a vector that is um, parallel to k. And so you get a zero for the i, get a zero for the j. And then um, when you cross out the i and j, um, the, the, when you cross out the k column, you'll get the f prime g double prime minus f double prime g prime. That's your um, velocity cross acceleration, but you need the magnitude of it. So just take and square that component. Technically, when you have a square underneath a square root, you want to actually include absolute value bars so that it's a, the result is a positive value. And then when it comes to the magnitude of velocity, it's just taking the derivative of the x component, the derivative of the y component, squaring those two and add them and taking the square root. That guy is cubed in the denominator. So if it's already to the one half power, then it's to the, and then you cube it, it's to the three halves power. So yeah, the, for, for, the formula for curvature, when you have a 2D parametric function where the i component is the f, the function f and the j component is the function g, you plug into this formula. Okay, great. So we have um, all our formulas that we need. Throw them on a cheat sheet. Somebody asks you about curvature, and most often it's going to be the red formula that you have there because you'll be given a function of time. But uh, if it's 2D, you can use either of the, uh, the ones in the third column there. All right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, end this video for now. Uh, and in, uh, we'll have one more video where we look at 
vectors are that are related to the unit tangent vector this capital T that's bolded the unit tangent vector is the is the velocity vector but turned into a unit vector and there are two other vectors associated with it and so um, so that this video doesn't get too long let's go ahead and introduce them in the next video and see how um, they can be useful all right my name is Nakaya Rimmer thank you for watching if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask uh, Reach out to me, uh, comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.